Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we looked at how to deal with gases that are at room temperature and pressure. In this video we're going to look at how to deal with gases that are at any temperature and pressure. Now I should point out that some students find this a bit tricky at first, but with a bit of practice you'll see that it's not as tricky as it seems. OK, we're going to use the ideal gas equation and I'm showing you that here. Pressure in pascals multiplied by volume in meters cubed equals the amount of substance in moles multiplied by the ideal gas constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin. Now it's really important that you learn this equation and you need to learn the units. In my experience, if a student makes a mistake with this equation, it's often because they got the units wrong. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the equation and the units, and then we're going to look at the limitations of this equation. OK, the pressure of the gas has to be in pascals. Now you need to understand that one pascal is actually a very low pressure. So usually gas pressure is given in kilopascals. To convert from kilopascals to pascals, you need to multiply by 1000. The volume of the gas has to be in meters cubed. Now, one meter cubed is a very large volume. So in chemistry, gas volumes are usually given in either decimeters cubed or centimeters cubed. So you need to remember to convert the gas volume to meters cubed. And this is the one thing that students often forget. To convert from decimeters cubed to meters cubed, you divide by 1000. And to convert from centimeters cubed to meters cubed, you divide by 1 million. Coming up, we'll continue looking at the ideal gas equation, and I'll discuss the assumptions we make when we're using the equation. OK, now in the ideal gas equation, the temperature needs to be in Kelvin. And this is a unit that you might not have seen before. You'll notice that we say Kelvin, not degrees Kelvin. To convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, you need to add 273. And to convert from Kelvin to degrees Celsius, you need to subtract 273. The ideal gas constant has a value of 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. And I should point out that you're given this in the exam. OK, now the ideal gas equation is based on the concept of an ideal gas. And for an ideal gas, we make the following assumptions. We assume that the gas molecules are tiny compared to the spaces between them. We also assume that there are no forces acting between the gas molecules. We assume that the gas molecules move randomly. And lastly, we assume that when the gas molecules collide, the collisions are elastic. Now, I should point out that there's no such thing as an ideal gas. But the ideal gas equation does work well for many gases under most conditions. In the next video, I'll give you some questions involving the ideal gas equation.